Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Place, and here she is, the Vampire F1. We've been grinding for this aircraft for a while now. I uh, put up a few of the videos in the spots where I kind of got stuck, but what is the aircraft? How does it perform? I know I'm not the first one to get this, and there's been other events that have introduced it, but this is essentially the first non German production, is it even production? Non German jet fighter it's essentially the brit answer to the new jet fighter conundrum but how does the aircraft play as you can see i'm already in the yellow at 5,000 feet so this thing even though it's a fighter is meant to be at lower altitude but the turn ability is going to be much less capable than any other aircraft that's going to be at this altitude so how is this any good by comparison to anything else that's out there based on the fact that this thing is essentially a more limited fighter at this altitude block well, I'd say that even even based off of the fuselage and the looks, this thing is like a baby Seahawk. And some of you may think I'm crazy, but uh, it feels like a Seahawk in the way that it performs. The, the turns aren't nearly as sluggish as on the Seahawk, but it has the ability to boost up and chase things. The altitude performance is comparable, and it feels good at higher altitudes. And what I mean is, even though I'm going to go outside my 5,000 altitude block every so often, it feels like it's not a huge hindrance to its capability to perform. Now we burn that other guy out. The jet engine, it allows it to be able to get a little bit more speed, I think. It likes hanging out around 300, and you can boost up to over 500 fairly easily. But... Having these four 20 millimeter Hispano Mark IVs on the belly very much feels like the Seahawk, and I kind of play it like a pseudo multi roll. Obviously, a gun only variant. Having no issues keeping up with this P 51D, and brawling with multi rolls is super easy. But if I see a Spitfire, I am getting the heck out of here, especially since the Spitfire they have in here for this match is a Specialist. And I'm actually overtaking a lot of these multi-roll aircraft, actually. That's going to be troublesome. I had a suggestion uh, the other day to try flying my aircraft that have the guns mounted in the fuselage or in the center line. Uh, try skipping all of the marksmen that I've been using because it's not going to help as much. And what I've discovered is I do feel a difference when I downgrade off of marksmen. However, I think that this is going to be, um, it's a downgrade, but if you play it appropriately, it doesn't, you don't feel it as much, if that makes any sense. It does all right. This is what we were talking about earlier. This aircraft is supposed to be at around 5,000 feet, right? But here we are hovering around nearly 8,000 feet, and we seem to be doing just fine. The aircraft's maneuverability is still pretty good, albeit the speed is going to be reduced. Essentially, it means that this aircraft has relatively good control at lower air speeds, which means that the loss of engine power isn't that dire. We do not want to head on the Focke Wolf 190D. He carries 30 millimeter cannons, and that would really hurt. There we go. We're actually working on the 55 right now, the XP-55 American Tier 6. That's one of the missions we have available right now, and the mission we have is to kill aircraft, enemy player aircraft, while defending a site. There's those 30s again. Got him. Oh, jeez, that's a Spitfire. Getting my distance from this guy try and get him to attack somebody else. I can outpace him, but 20 millimeter cannons and his turns, I don't have the capability to fight with him. 
so we're going to get some distance. Coming back around on the Spitfire. Like to catch him unaware. He's chasing a bot. Took out one of his wings. Hoping an ally can help me out here. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. I was afraid I'd run into him. But I was saved by an ally. Air defense aircraft, actually. Jesus, Focke Wolf. Got him while he's still in the zone, that's important. Uh, what else do we got here? Like I said, this thing hunts multi rolls. We'll take a look at how I've equipped this thing. If anybody has any suggestions to modify it, let me know. Uh, I've been using your suggestions you and it's actually been proving to, proving to help out quite a bit with some of these airframes. Ooh, ooh, what was that? That was a delayed response, okay. Not gonna be up there grabbing the uh, bomber, but we could shoot down some GA, I think. Looks like we lit him on fire there. Got him. In on the IL-10. He's a little bit beefier than those German ones. And looks like he was shooting at me. Getting hit by the tail gunner right now. I think if I commit, we can get him. There we go. Retaining the zone. I probably could have held off on that repair, but... This battle is pretty much over. Not too bad a show for us. I think we may have just completed that step of the XP-55. Beautiful paint job though, isn't it? Vampire bat. Looks like a really aggressive aircraft. Oh, I didn't even realize this. V-bat, vampire bat. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think I already got these medals today, so I'm not going to be getting any more tokens from it, but it's always nice to see the Akamatsu medal there and Winged Legend. That Guardian medal we were chasing. If I would have had this, it would have been easier to grind Guardian. But you needed to get the Guardians in order to get the aircraft. So this is a tier 8 premium aircraft, so the payout is going to be fairly substantial, 295000 Now granted, we are looking at some other bonuses here going on. I am running a premium account. I wonder if, yeah, it's a premium account and the fact that it's a premium plane, obviously, to get a little bit of a bonus. So if you're running non-premium, that would have been a 197,000 credits, which granted, that's, you know, a good amount of cash, but... Um, and you'd have to get a uh, 14,000 power po uh, personal point score. But um, I think even on a, on a decent match, which isn't going to be too hard with this aircraft, you're going to do just fine. Uh, let's not belabor the point anymore. Like I said, 420mm Mark V, so essentially the same guns as the Tempest, just mounted in the fuselage. It's also the same weapons that you see on the Spit 14. This thing has the Goblin engine on it. Uh, for maneuverability, I'm looking at a 9.7. That is based on the fact that I have kind of kitted this out to be relative, relatively maneuverable based on the altitude block it's flying in. I wanted it to be able to outturn all of the, at least the multi rolls. So we gave it lightweight wing frame, we gave it the uh, improved power unit, but this will cause your t your engine to get knocked out and that's why i've been running manual restart 
If I don't put on an engine restart, I will lose the engine and I'll just be dead in the water. Uh, I have also put on the operated engine, but you'll note that I'm not running a fire extinguisher or the, uh, what's the other module I run in here? Uh, I don't have the inerting system in order to counteract that chance of fire because somebody turned me onto this. The fire resistance bottle is very, or fire resistance skill is very important because now you're looking at a reduction of your chance, uh, or it looks like your reduction of your duration and damage of fires if you are caught on fire. So it really reduces the uh, likelihood of getting knocked out just from getting nicked and lit on fire. All the rest of this is going to be, I'm still going for gyroscopic gun sights for increased accuracy for the guns. And I'm also have the dressings that way the pilot can get back up and running uh, this thing as you saw can boost up to a pretty good airspeed uh, we're getting up to over 500 easily with the boost and in a dive you can get up to 571 with the setup i have right now a six second boost is more than enough for what we're doing and i can run any pilot i want in here so right now i got the seahawk and yes i did take your advice and i did uh, swap out and take out some of the uh, marksman skills here in order to maximize the Seahawks capabilities as well so I, I may show you a video of what it's like with those skills and show you how much uh, how much better it seems to be performing for me but yeah this is the Vampire it's a great aircraft great for the tier uh, excellent fighter quick comparison to the Tempest size uh, it's relatively the same type of wingspan but it looks really small because most of the uh, body is going to be on the wings while the fuselage kind of truncates with just these two booms for that tail section. So neat design, cool concept, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one, and hopefully we'll be getting the XP-55 soon.